Hello boys and girls. In today's lesson, we can read from the Bible, God's word about some wise men that traveled a long time from a far away country to find something. They were searching for something very special. They were searching for a king. I'm going to open my Bible to the book of Matthew, chapter 2, so we can find out who this king was and why the wise men were searching for him. But before we do that, let us bow our heads and pray. Everybody, bow your heads and close your eyes. Heavenly Father, we thank you for each and every gopher buddy that has come to hear your word from um the lesson from your word the bible we pray that each and every boy and girl will have good listening ears in jesus name we pray and everybody say amen the bible tells us in the book of matthew chapter 2 that the wise men had followed a bright star from their country to jerusalem when they arrived in the city of jerusalem they began asking Where is he that is born king of the Jews? When Herod the king of Jerusalem heard that the men were looking for a king, he was very upset. Herod did not want anyone else to be called a king. Herod wanted to speak to the wise men. He sent the wise men to the town of Bethlehem. He told them this is where they would find the king. The wise men left quickly because they wanted to find the king and worship him. The wise men followed the star. The star finally stopped over the place where the king was. The wise men traveled a very long way to find this king. The men were probably very excited to finally be this close to the king they had been searching for. When they arrived at the house, who do you think they found? Yes, that is right. They found Jesus. Jesus was the king they had been searching for. When the wise men saw Jesus, they got on their knees and worshiped him. Then the wise men gave Jesus gifts. They gave him gold, frankincense, and myrrh. These were very expensive gifts that were normally only for a king. Do you all know what gold is? Frankincense is like a special smelling candle, and myrrh is like a perfume. After the wise men worshiped Jesus, they went back to their own country. They were very happy that they found Jesus and worshiped him. The wise men were searching and looking for Jesus. They wanted to find this king so they could worship him. Worship means that the wise men wanted to show and tell Jesus that they loved him. The men showed Jesus that they loved him. by falling on their knees when they saw him they worshiped jesus and showed him that they loved him when they gave him the special gifts the wise men had traveled far so they could worship jesus you don't need to travel far to worship jesus do you you can worship him wherever you are You can think of some ways you can worship Jesus. Things you can do to show him that you love him. You can worship Jesus by singing songs to him. You can worship him when you pray and talk to him. When you listen to someone read the Bible and when you obey him. You can worship Jesus by doing your quiet time every day. Can you think of ways you can worship Jesus this coming week? Let us pray boys and girls. Everybody, bow your heads and close your eyes. Thank you God for sending your son Jesus on the very first Christmas day. 
Thank you, Lord, that you sent your son, Jesus, to die on the cross for us. And thank you that we can worship you each and every day from wherever we are. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody say, Amen. Thank you, boys and girls, for listening to the lesson from God's Word, the Bible. We pray that you will have a blessed week this week and be safe. God bless you. Goodbye.